Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. So, things went down in the last part and we've recruited this guy, who seems pretty cool. Uh, and now we still have a bunch of stuff to do in this goddamn city, okay. Um. <sighs> right. Thank you. I thought them coterie men had me for sure. Gee, I guess the whole thing guy? was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. Is that a Fenril's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. So will you be running home to tell Mama crime doesn't pay? <laughs> my Mama was ripped in two by one of them big horn darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? Most farmers will always take extra hands for the field, or girls for the kitchen. My father was a farmer, before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Thenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. I will. I have some sway with her. What's that? Once again, that is the most bullshit excuse for not having customizable outfits. Ugh, lazy. Lazy Bioware. Lazy. Then again, they probably had to crunch to make this game, which, you know, fair. I get that. Oh, come on. Come on! 
Get a hold of her. Please help me. Anyone. Voice acting. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. Oh. You know nothing of magic. Fantastic. Watch your step. <laughs> Father, I know the sacrifices you've made to conceal my secret. She thrusts daughter. Well, crap. Ooh, I like. Ooh, that was interesting. guys managing that in there? Poor girl. Who do you suppose she was? We should see if there's anything here to identify her. Yeah, I got the letter. Uh, now what? No sign of Fainreal, though. Something else to be done here? No, okay. Let's be out of here, then. You ever going to stop harping on the mages here? No. <laughs> they aren't what you saw in Tavinta. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't. So he's got a code. Okay. That's the wrong way. Volunteers, clap them in irons and let's see what the Tavinters will pay for. Right? That's a really fucking stupid hat. And moustache. Uh, there is... Make him talk. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Does he like... Trust great flaming ass. How did you do that? Never mind, I... I've stashed the boy in a cave, a smuggler hideout on the wounded coast. Tavinters will be by to finish the deal today. Now, c c can I go? Mm. Nah. I let you live, and I condemn countless innocents to slavery. Oh. Get back! You go through me before anyone. Oh, my God. 
all of them. And we got more to do at daytime. Hooray! Do we not get to go anywhere? Interesting. This is getting so repetitive. So. There must be mages in Tevinter who don't use blood magic. Of course. There are slaves. The Magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no Magisters. Why must you go on about this? No Magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know, to use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. <laughs> Are you here to socialize, or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie? I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the Dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Uh, we should... We should go to speak to Fenris. There's a mansion. All right, Fenris, what do you got? A Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Be gay, do cry. It's too perfect. I can't imagine why they would be put off. I'll take that as a compliment. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. 
Do you truly not want to? My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. What's Saharan? Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. So he's got a memory problem, maybe? You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Ansa would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Oh, he's he's cute. He is quite cute. For all his generic YA pretty boy experience, I yeah, it's all right. I mean, I do. I guess I do have a thing. Angsty boys. There's a reason why Zuko is my favorite character in Avatar. <laughs> Though I don't know. He's no Alistair. Should go talk to Cullen. circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here, considering who we're with? Maybe not, but we'll be cautious. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is the Imperial circle of magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. 
I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. As easy as it is to resort to a sword. You were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You can't say every mage is corrupt. All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. <laughs> power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. Hmm. According to everything I've seen, the Circle can't control mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. Demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Uh... It's the Templar's fault? Tarani was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Yet also true. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of peak. Uh, that's a bit extreme. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think Oh, that. I forgot about that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame, but tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Uh... 
okay. I wish that I hear good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a maid, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Ferelden's lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. We have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainril. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... you know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. You have my sympathies. Do not fear the Templars finding out. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Fenris <laughs> rivalry plus dead. <laughs> uh, that's the wrong. Whatever. Um. Ugh, so much stuff to do. At least we can head out of the city again soon. Because damn, this is getting dull. Getting in. I've been waiting. How dare you! I am guard captain! I won't be treated like this! Ferelden, bitch! This was none of your affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered! This will not stand! <laughs> we found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this? Embarrassment. Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. <laughs> Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? <laughs> captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. At his behest. 
I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man, a good one, and he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. I can't imagine the Captain of the Guard will like wandering in my shadow. It's not like this job means we're on opposite sides. The good you do, it seems rather appropriate. Besides, I'll be making a patrol schedule, and I don't intend to lead from a desk. I look forward to working with you, Guard Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. All right. I am going to have to end this part here. Um, because life. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.